Let me ask you, who do you think should pay for the first date, like you said? The boy. Why? Because he's the boy. Yeah, that's his responsibility. What's your responsibility? Sit there and look pretty. Hey, pebbles! <laughs> Would you rather be with a broke guy that's handsome and treats you right? Or would you rather be with a rich, ugly guy that treats you wrong? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> How many boyfriends have you had? <laughs> What's the most you've given a girl? Well, um, most. Do you mean like most I've given a girl or most I've spent on a girl? Most, both, both. Okay, um, the most I've spent on a girl should be 20k. Cause like. You gonna explain, Taya? You gonna explain, 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 like, explain, because then. Like, You've been arrested. What for? Hey y'all, come look at this! I took a picture of an officer. I wanted to send him on streak. <laughs> okay, wait, how many relationships have you been in? God damn it. <laughs> What's up guys, and welcome back to another amazing episode of your favorite dating show from Midnight Show. Stay or sway, our back here with another banger. This episode is going to be super, super, super interesting. And thank you guys for all your for all for all you've been seeing. So keep commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe right now. Yeah. And if you like to be on an episode, you know what to do. So today we have a familiar face, somebody who you guys have seen today. And let's get to meet her. Hey, my name is Serena, and I'm on stay or sway. <laughs> Hi, Serena. Hi, Zonan. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Okay, so you're back here. Why are you back? I'm here to find love now. I'm, I genuinely feel like I can find what I'm looking for here. So, you see, you guys, you can find love from this hour show. It they work, it they work. So, um, so, what are you going to be looking for today? Um, I'm looking for a responsible person. Someone that has a mind of his own and is like, can give me what I'm looking for. Okay, so what, what are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for someone that can like spoil me. <laughs> money, money, money. Yeah, uh, money, money. Um, I'm looking for love also though. Like we can balance it out. We can work it out. So. Okay, so she's looking for money first. Then maybe if love comes, love will come. <laughs> okay, yes. Um. <laughs> okay, she has agreed. Though, if I've heard that, her name is Serena. You can't. <laughs> Come for me, don't come for me. Don't come for you. <laughs> okay, so if you guys are forgetting how stay or sway works, this is how stay or sway works. Stay or sway starts with one person on the hot seat and three potential matches. The three potential matches are each gonna take turns dating the person on the hot seat. At intervals, the person on the hot seat will have the decision to either stay or sway. Stay means that they're feeling the date, and sway means that they're not quite feeling it. Well, at the end of the day, the person on the hot seat will have the final decision to pick who they want to match with. This is Stay or Sway. Hi. Hi, what's up? I'm good, how are you? I'm calm, how about you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, so, I'm going to ask you some questions and okay. I want honest replies. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, um, first of all, do you believe in love? Yeah, of course. I believe in love. Do you think you can find love here? Like, in what we're doing? Yeah. Like, it depends, to be honest. Even without seeing my face, like, knowing what I look like? Well, your voice sounds pretty nice already. <laughs> I was going to ask that, but, like, thanks. <laughs> okay. Um, I like your voice, too, by the way. Thank you very much. Okay, so... What are your ex in a girl? Ha, huh, what are my ex in a girl? Um, firstly, I would say lack of communication, cause like I feel like if you can't express how you're feeling about certain things to me, like I don't know how I'm meant to move forward. Cause let's say now if I did something, mm -hmm. and then there's this thing that girls do, yeah, they feel like they don't have to mention it, cause you feel maybe it's too petty or it's too small or you he won't care or something like that. Okay. But then I feel like sometimes you'd be shocked that even the smallest things like we actually do care about it and like we're willing to change for that like too. Like the little things matter. Yeah, the little things really matter. Yeah. 
Well, um, I support what you just said. Like, I actually support that because I'm very big on communication because I feel like for a relationship to work, communication is like, communication and trust is like the main things in a relationship. Yeah. So, yeah. So you don't have any like icks besides that? Mm, aside that, then probably when she knows a lot of my friends. Okay, so you just want your babe to like, be low key, just you and her. Type. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because, like, I don't know, sometimes I wouldn't want you to be like in the same setting as me and my friends. Because I feel like at some point, even after, like, let's say anything happens between us or after we split or something, like, they may eventually want to go with you because, okay, they've seen like the best of you. Okay. You get what I mean? Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. Well, um, can you be with like an extroverted person? Extroverted person, yeah, I can, but I would actually prefer if you are introverted. Okay. Okay. So, well, I'm not going to tell you if I'm an introvert or extrovert. <laughs> <laughs> but like, okay. So, what makes you happy? What makes me happy? Yeah, like, okay. Let me not ask what makes you happy. What can yeah. your girl do? To make you happy, because I usually like, like I like to see my man happy. So, I um, I would say mostly just have time for me. To be honest, so quality time is like your main love language. Yeah, yeah, it's so, like it's like um, a big one. Physical for touch. Yeah, but then physical touch in my sense is not re- really like physical touch. Like as in we have to always do things. Physical and touch like as in like hands. Yeah, like, as in, like, I just have to be around you. Even if I'm literally looking at you from a mile away, like, okay. I'm happy with that for real. Okay, that's nice. That's, that's valid. Okay, so, like, what are your love languages aside quality time? Um, Probably physical touch, words of affirmation, obviously. Because that has to do with communication, too. Okay, we have the same love languages, actually, because I like words of affirmation. I'm oh, really? Big, I'm big on words of affirmation. Okay. <laughs> I can I ask you like no, what are your green flags in a guy? Oh my green flags. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me think. I like when he has a mind of his own, like because most guys they let their homeboys have an influence on their relationship. Yeah. Like they'll be like they don't have a mind of their own basically. Like what their boys tell them. That's what you can't do. Okay. Exactly. I don't like that. So I like when he has a mind of his own. That's a green flag. Mm-hmm. I like when um he can like give his woman princess treatment. So can you can you give your girl princess treatment? For sure. Come on. Like I know one thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that I know that even though it's not like I don't like how do I put this? Even though it necessarily isn't like the most like i feel like the bare minimum can literally make my girl happy as far as it's something that's from the heart because like let's say now i can legit just plan like a little date or something as far as it's like a surprise i feel like she'll be pretty happy with it so yeah okay that makes sense so, what is the most valuable thing you own? The most valuable thing I own? Yeah. That's a tough one. I feel like it's probably my shoes. Because, like, shoes? yeah, because I'm actually, like, like a large sneaker head. So, like, oh, okay. yeah. So, no part of your body is valuable. It's not for it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so your shoes are more important than... Like any part of your body. Nah, I didn't know you refer to like a part of my body. Okay. The most valuable part of my body is probably probably my face. <laughs> your face. Yeah. Okay. Cause so, like I feel like that's what basically gives you like the whole first impression even before you even speak to the person. Yeah, cause like that's what girls are going to see first. Yeah. Okay, so you really care. You're big on like you care about people's opinions, like girls' opinions. Yeah, if it's like valid, like if it's actually the right thing, like some people's opinion may 
not really matter because they are not doing what's best for you or they are not saying what's best for you. Maybe they are just saying it, okay, maybe because they could be them. Maybe that's just how they want to see you. But then they are not thinking about how you actually want to see yourself. Okay, so like... Are my friends with my exes? Yes. I can't even lie, not really. Not really? <laughs> yeah, because I feel like usually, yeah, whenever like we split, I always have the tendency to like distance myself oh. like recover or like break away from whatever we had because like i feel like even when i say something like, i wouldn't be able to see them again because they might be termed the wrong way or they might bring like this awkward like feeling to be honest okay so, so i would say not really but then usually that like, after like a while then yeah okay but like why though is it like because you guys don't end on good terms yeah yeah can't lie usually we don't so what was the reason for your last breakup? Was it you or her? Because it has to be from somebody, obviously. <laughs> or if it's from both. <laughs> so you both fucked up. Yeah, but then she fucked up big time. <laughs> and you decided to do her back? Nah, I didn't do her back. Okay, like how did she fuck up though? Well, she actually cheated on me. With and how did you fuck up? How did I fuck up? Yeah. After like i found out then she need denied then she admitted it i let that slide but then like instead of me actually like forgiving her and then like trying to build on what we already had and move forward like i just gave up to be honest mm-hmm. and i was like if she actually like cared if she actually loved me like she wouldn't have done that yeah okay what if like it was well, I can't really say maybe it was in the moment or whatever, because, yeah. like, if you're with someone, yeah, you're not meant to, like, cheat. Commitment is... It's key. Key, yeah, basically. Do you have any questions for me? Um, yeah, like, it's, like, a particular question, very specific, to be honest. Okay. Would you rather be with a broke guy that's handsome and treats you right, or... Would you rather be with a rich, ugly guy that treats you wrong? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's um, a tough one. I can't lie, but then, like... Wait, a broke guy yeah. that's handsome and treats me right. Yeah. And the rich guy that's ugly and treats me wrong. Yeah. Wait, like... Do you mean, like, being with them, being with them, like, relationship relationship wise. Right? Oh, oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Well, I like princess treatment. Of course. So, I think I'll just go with the broke guy that treats me right. Okay. It's handsome because. No, I didn't say. I didn't say. I didn't say broke guy that's handsome. Eh? I didn't say broke guy that's handsome. Broke guy that's ugly. That's ugly. Yeah. No. And treats you wrong. No, no, no. If if the if the rich man is handsome and treats me right, then that's fine. Okay. That's calm. Exactly. Because yeah. I can't be with a broke guy that is not ugly on top. On top. That's calm. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Serena. Hi, Zumna. So, how was, how was your first date? Well, I really enjoyed it, actually. Like, he was giving me the answers I was looking for, so, yeah. Like, what thing made it stand out? What one thing made it stand out? Um, He sounded responsible. And I think he could, like, he can give me what I'm looking for. Is it the money or no no nah, it's not the money? <laughs> okay, so rate the dates. Yes. Um I rated seven out of ten. Okay, thank you. Hi. Um, okay, so it's nice to meet you. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh. I like your voice. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. Um, so, um, what do you like to do for fun? Well, I like to play ball, but I like stay with friends, but I, I can't think of any other thing. Okay, well, like, there are different kind of, like, sports and all. So, what, basketball, football? Football. Football. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. I like guys that play football, actually. Um, okay, uh, what's your take on PDA? Yeah, I feel I feel PDA is okay, but like there's a certain level that I should reach, and it's not like every time you do it. What do you mean, like, so you can't 
basically do it anywhere with her. I can, but like that, I want to do maybe just kiss her, but not like, not like deep. I don't know if you get like, what I mean. Wait, wait, like holding her waist. Yeah, I can do that, but not too deep. I, I'm not to explain. <laughs> Oh, okay then, if you say so. Well, I like PDH, I don't really mind, like, because I'm really, I'm a lover girl, so. Yes, I'm a lover boy. You're a lover boy? Yes. Okay. What's your take on princess treatment? Like, can you, do you can you offer princess treatment? Yes, I can. You can? Yeah, I can. Okay. So, like, how? Uh, I, I don't really know. I just know I can. If I, if I have to, I can okay um like can you like get her like do you like love um gift giving like is that one of your love languages yeah i like gift giving okay so you can give her like gifts as a form of princess treatment yeah i can give her gifts okay well, um money uncle yeah i can give her money too no you can't like how much what's the depends i i, I don't like have a doesn't have a specific amount it just depends on maybe how she's feeling how i'm feeling Okay, so have you like given a girl? What's the most you've given a girl? Well, um, most. Do you mean like most I've given a girl, or most I've spent on a girl? Most, both, both. Okay, um, the most I've spent on a girl should be twenty k, cause like, it was, it was, like, how do I explain this? Like she was in school, but okay. and like she was in secondary school, and I just recently graduated, so I didn't really see her a lot. So the time I saw her, I just gave her something else. Okay, twenty k. But like, have you like taken a girl out before, like on a date? Yeah, not really. Not really. No, I haven't. Oh, why? Mm, I just, I just don't fancy those kind of things. Not a this kind of person. Okay, so what do you do for fun, like with your girl, <laughs> if not go on dates and stuff? Depends on what she likes. I, Okay, so what have you done? Um, uh, see, I, I don't really have girlfriends, so I can't really. I don't like. I don't do girlfriends, so I don't. Oh, so you don't do relationships. I do, but I don't have. I once in a while. Okay, so how many relationships have you been in? Are we adding just one relationship? No, I don't. How many you count secondary school relationships? Honestly. Apart from secondary school relationships. Yeah. You still in zero. Okay, so secondary school, go. Um, let me count. Um, okay, so let's just leave this aspect. Like, okay, so you can hear my voice, right? Yeah, I can. What do you think about my voice? I like your voice. You do? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> um, let me ask another question. Who should pay for the first dates? Uh, I would say the boy. But, well, no, the person that suggests she should pay for it. Well, I have seen the boy too. The boy can't pay. Okay, so if it's the girl that suggested the dates, so she should pay. No, she shouldn't, but if she feels like, why not? Okay. Okay. Um, are you an introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. Okay, would you want your girl to be an introvert? Like, someone that doesn't go out too much? Uh, I, I don't mind, but I think I prefer an extrovert. An extrovert? Yeah. Because you're an extrovert? Yes. Okay, makes sense. That's valid. So, what if I told you I was an introvert? Like I said, I don't mind, but I w I don't mind. It's still cool. Okay. Well, I'm an extrovert actually. I like going out. So you're cool with that, right? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Do you have any questions for me? Mm, how many boyfriends have you had? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, are we doing like secondary school or? Don't worry, you won't pass me. Any everything together. Okay. Um, I've been in four relationships. Okay. Yeah, I recently just left one. So. That's that's okay. Yeah. Um, so, um, any okay. other questions? Um. Okay. Let me think. Let me think. Wait. Let me ask you. Who do you think should pay for the first date? Like you said. The boy. Why? Because he's the boy. Yeah. Yes. I feel like. That's his responsibility. What's your responsibility? What? What's your responsibility? Sit there and look pretty. Princess treatment. <laughs> 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 Why are you laughing? What's
so weit weg. Am Sam, Sam. Okay, ja, da so. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It was nice talking to you. Hi, Serena. Hi, Zona. So, day two, um, let me know comments. What do you have to say about day two? It was an L date. Like, not a, mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is mm-mm now? Like, I didn't like his replies. Like, it was just off vibes. Like, because I like my partner to, like, match my energy and everything. And he wasn't matching my energy. He was not matching your energy. Okay, so, like, what would you rate the date of? <laughs> no, don't rate it. Don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe to the channel. You can get us on um, Instagram at Minashayo and at Steosui. Thank you. You guys should rate it. Yeah, you guys, you guys should rate it in the comment section. Hi. Hi. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Even if I can't see you. <laughs> Well, I like your voice, actually. Well, thank you. I like yours, too. Do you mean that, or you're just saying it because I said I like your voice? Should I lie or should I be honest? Okay. So I'm going to be asking you some questions. And I want honest replies. Bye. Okay. So, for starters, let's go with... Um, no, I actually like your voice. I won't even lie. Let's continue. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, um... Let's start with what do you think are your personal red or green flags? Like, what are your red flags? Oh, uh, my take on this red flag and green flag thing, yeah, it's not from my perspective. I won't lie. It's from the other party. So, to me, I'm good as I am. But what people see as a red flag in me is that I'm nonchalant. Oh, but so I don't you, see that as a red flag. So you're nonchalant? Yeah. You don't, like, show affection or stuff? Depends. I can just switch up sometimes. But I'm most of the time nonchalant. I'm okay, sorry. But <laughs> um, so, like, but is it different for your girl? Yeah, I mean, it has to be, doesn't it? Exactly. So, but you can be nonchalant to others? Yeah. Not your girl? Sometimes, yeah, I can't, can't apply to my girl. Sometimes. Mm, okay oh, and right. would you like it if your girl was nonchalant to you i wouldn't have a you problem wouldn't with my girl. yeah exactly Fuck. <laughs> 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 okay um what's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you oh uh, shit tired. i think me getting arrested you've been arrested yeah. what for oh I took a picture of an officer. I wanted to send him a streak. <laughs> oh, shit. And you got caught. Yeah, I got caught. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think my most embarrassing moment. Um, okay. But I think my most embarrassing moment is was like, I think I was walking and i noticed some guy looking at me and the guy was fine and everything and the next thing i tripped i, <laughs> I, I tripped like i was wearing it. heels and then i tripped that was so embarrassing and he was on stairs so why, why does he always have to be stairs i don't know bro that shit was embarrassing as fuck what was his reaction i don't even think he just stopped looking at me nah. <laughs> I just went back to my house and man, cause guy, nah, that she was what, embarrassing. That what, do you know this guy? No, I didn't know him. That was your first Luckily, time seeing That was my guy. first time seeing him in my life, and I, I've so never seen him So your first impression again. was you tripping on. on yes, oh, and your shit. first impression matters a lot, so that really messed me up. Nah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Um, do you believe in love? Yes. So you think you can find love here? Um, yes. But have you ever been in love? Yes. You have? Yes. So I you have. have a first love? Yes, I've been in love twice. Well, I've dated like. You know the theory about first loves, right? Like how you're attached to them and stuff. Well, I'm not attached to my first love. If I don't love you anymore, I don't love you anymore. Oh, but but you loved her. Yeah, I loved her. I won't even lie. But you don't love her anymore. But I don't even know if it's love. I was in secondary school. What am I talking? Um, but I to me, that was my definition of love. 
back then. Yeah, back then. That's why I knew I was love. Okay. That was my first love. But I've been in love twice. Twice. Only. Okay, wait. How many relationships have you been in? God damn it. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, you ha- you've been in love twice. So, how many relationships have you been in? Should I lie? No. Honest replies. Okay, so... From secondary school, I don't count just one to three. Okay. So I'll count from like SS1. I'm counting SS1, I'll say like four, five. Out of the four, five. Out of them, the rest of them was just, oh, I like you. You like I, what? I, I just like you. I'm in love with you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think I get what you're saying because. How about you? Have you been in love before? Yes, once. Your yes, your yes, your yes sounds so disappointing. Because <laughs> yeah, it well. wasn't very disappointing yeah. relationship. Did you cheat? Yes. I knew it. <laughs> Men has come, don't worry, you don't have to tell me. What? Men has come. Oh, so you believe in that theory? Yeah, I believe and in that theory. Yes. Wow, that's a green flag, go. But why do you believe in that theory, though? Because I'm a man, like you said. Okay, are you a scum? I don't know. Some people see me as calm. That's because they don't know me. I'm really looking forward to seeing you because, like, um, you'll be disappointed. Trust me. Jesus. Okay, so you think low of yourself, like, you don't. Bro, I see myself as a solid six over ten. Shit. Okay, so like from my voice, what do you think I look like? Eight point five to nine over ten. Okay. I hope but I, I know you, you, sound, I hope you, sound, I... you sound dark skinned though. What? You sound dark skinned. Okay, you find out. You find out. But like, are you into dark skins? I'm into light skins, but I have no problem dating dark skin girl. Okay, so your past relationships have all been like light skins or yeah, dark? That's why I say I have no problem dating light skin girls. Okay. I hope I meet your expectations, Sha, after everything. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, okay. What are your deal breakers? What's the difference between deal breakers and red flags? Actually, you come to think of it. What are the, what's the difference actually? Because I feel like it's the same thing, honestly. It's practically the same. So, I would say, I mean, if a girl is everywhere, like, why the fuck are you everywhere? Why are you known by everyone? So you like your girl to be like an introvert? Yeah, I won't say an introvert, but I just I should be the only one bringing that extroverted part. Out. Yeah, if okay. you're going for parties, oh let me take you for the party. Do you get? Mm, okay, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Um, so who, who do you think should pay on the first date? Who, whose idea was it? The person who brought the idea should pay for the date. Okay, so if it was the girl's idea, she should pay for it. Why not? You brought me out of my house. Personally, I wouldn't go out. Okay, what if like it's your girl? Uh, that's that's different. If it's my girl, that's that's different now. Like, and she suggested the dates. Like Would you, you said, still make her like, pay? Like you said, my girl. I wouldn't make my girl pay my stress on the my. Okay, that makes sense. Just imagine every single question I'm asking you is based on your girl. No, well, but it's like our first time meeting, so it can't be based on my girl. You get. Okay. Exactly. But like you came here to find love. Yeah, but I came here to find love. I'm not already in love. You're still looking for the love. So. Okay, and if this works out. And then we can. Uh, let's let's just work with what we have first. Okay, don't, let's not don't rush. rush yeah. the, don't rush things. Yeah, Take we're not your time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. What makes you happy? Sleep. Sleep. Yes. Sleep. Food. Weed. How about weed? <laughs> Are we allowed to talk about things like that here? <laughs> okay. So. So let's stick to sleep and food. Sleep and food. Maybe off camera we can talk about other things, but for now, sleep and food. Okay. Can you offer your girl princess treatment? Why princess treatment? Because she's your girl and you're meant to treat her like a queen. But exactly, queen, not princess. Okay, so Trigger. queen treatment. Yeah, that's 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 the word. That's, yeah, that's the word. That's the word. Okay, so like. I mean, that's if she's giving me a king treatment too. Obviously, now if you're in a relationship, you're meant to be like 
Respect I don't, kids most most women don't see it like that. Well, I see it that way though, because then we're good. We're if good. a guy is doing being good to you, I feel like you should be able to reciprocate it. Real. Exactly. So, feel, feel do you have any questions for me? Yes. Yes. Very important. This would decide how this would end. Who was your number one on your Spotify Wrapped? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Gabzi. It was Gabzi. Number two. Um. Shit, I can't remember. Was Charlie Poppy think... there? No, 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 not at all. I don't like Charlie Poppy. Was Odumudu Black there? I don't like Charlie Poppy or Odumudu. Ah, then you're good to go. Yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like, what if I did? You consider me classless, Abiras? No, I don't. No one wants a Lego girlfriend. Ah. Like, <laughs> I don't. I don't want that, bro. Like. Okay, what if like she can dance though? I mean, I should. I, I want to teach you how to dance, even if you can't. No, you can dance any type of dance except leg work. Leg work. <laughs> but can you dance? Yes. Okay, so you're a dancer. Yes, but I don't dance in public because I'm shy. Yeah, shy. Okay, yes. I dance too. Though. You dance leg work. <laughs> <laughs> Not in public. So in private then. Yes. So how you... I feel like dancing, like because of the theory people have about leg work, like if I see my baby doing leg work outside, this, this, that, blah, blah, blah. So I don't do it outside. Real, real. So you, well, you can't do leg work? Yes, I can do leg work. So in party, what do you, what do you dance like? What? When you go to a party, yeah? Actually, how do you dance? I usually just chill with my friends, like my circle. So how do you dance in your circle? Because there's no how you have to dance at a party, you just don't. I really like, let's say hand movement. Just like, what do you mean hand movement? Like Gang sp- signs, waving, like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, how like me? I really don't know, Sharp, because most times in parties, I I hype them, Sharp. Like, I'm like, oh, go girl, you know. Oh, so you're just the hype lady? Yeah, most times. Well, you should probably dance and you should dance at parties. Mm. Don't you think so? Nah. And why are you going for the party? Just to have fun, socialize and stuff. But thank you though. Uh, Thanks. It was uh, nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you too. Terry, now what's up? So you're finally done. <laughs> Hi. That's so nice. Yeah, so how was your third date? It looked like you were enjoying it. Yeah, I was really enjoying it actually. But I didn't like the fact that he said he's nonchalant. Mm. So you still remember that? Yeah. That one wouldn't I remember? Okay, so like, what's like one thing that stood out for you positively? Okay, um, Jesus, I can't remember. Wait. So everything was bad? No, 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 everything was not bad. Okay, everything was good? Yes, everything was good, yes, except the, the fact that he said he's nonchalant. Okay, can you read the date over 10? Okay, nice. Okay, so um, you guys should not forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram at Steel and Amina Shire. Thank you. What's up, guys? It's time for the final review. Um, it's time for her to meet the people she was talking to. So let's see how that goes. I uh, can turn around. Is it like, do you know any of them? No, I don't know anyone. He looks familiar, though. You don't know any of them. Okay, so like now, um, <laughs> yeah, she looks familiar. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. So now, um, if like you're going to choose who you'd be more physically or most physically attracted to, out of the three of them. Okay. Um, this is one, two, three. Yeah, no, just like now, one, two, three, because you don't know their name. Okay, so one. Okay, now select. So like, <laughs> why are you clapping? So like, let's see who you. Let's see who you went with. Show the camera. Okay, so she went with D three. Do you have an idea who D three is? I think it's him. I think it's him. Ah, it's you. You're right. That was D three. Yeah. Yeah, you. You already said. Hi. Nice to meet you. Okay, so like, well, you can put it in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So um, I chose you. So did I meet your expectations? Not bad. I actually, actually did. But I knew you were dark skin. 
I called her. I called her. It's on the dark skin. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you don't have a problem with that? Nope. I remember you telling me you were into light skin. I also said I don't have a problem with dark skin. Okay. All right then. If you think so. Um, okay. Would you go on another date with me? Why not? Depends on what idea I take. So you wouldn't bring up the idea. I love my house. I'm introverted too. And I'm shy. You don't have to be shy around me. <laughs> you don't have to be shy around me though. Don't worry. Get there. Okay, thanks for watching. Yeah, subscribe. subscribe, guys.